Hey everyone, welcome to the Summer Pi series. In this first set of videos, we'll be going over the data that we could expect to see from the LSST or the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. For the first video, I thought it'd be a good idea to go over the technology behind this telescope before we start playing with the data and applying artificial intelligence to it. But with all that said, I hope you enjoy the video. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, or LSST, is a next-generation ground telescope currently being built on a mountaintop in Chile. What makes it so amazing is that it combines some of the novel advancements in technology in order to revolutionize observational astronomy. What makes this telescope so unique is that it's going to be recording a movie of the universe over the 10 years that it's planning to run. It will record light curve data, which basically measures how the amount of light changes over time. And this is very useful information in identifying the types of astronomical events that are occurring within the night sky. There are multiple technological advancements that enable this to happen. First off, we should talk about the advancements in the telescope itself. It features a unique design different than most telescopes that we've seen before. It uses a three mirror telescope, which is a clever and simple design approach that avoids common telescope issues. This includes spherical aberration, chromatic aberration, and astigmatism. And because of its ability to relieve observers of these optical issues, the 3 mirror design is actually starting to look more common with next generation telescopes. It's also featured in the James Webb Telescope. The LSST also features an 8.4 meter primary mirror, and although it's not the biggest that we've ever created, the way that it's incorporated in the overall design assures that we get nothing less than state-of-the-art results. It also uses magnet motors to help efficiently move the telescope, which is crucial in being able to scan the entire sky in 3 to 4 nights. It also uses 6 optical filters or passbands, which help focus on specific wavelengths of light. And in this animation, you'll notice how the image changes when a different filter is applied. Getting these multiple perspectives can tell us different things about the night sky. The second technological advancement we should talk about is in the camera. It contains a 1.55 meter camera lens and it's the largest CCD camera ever created. It's essentially the size of a small car. It contains 3.2 billion pixels and just to put that in perspective, you would need 400 4K Ultra HD TVs in order to match that number of pixels. It collects so much information that one image takes up 8.2 gigabytes for a 10 square degree window in the sky. This can be compared to the size of 40 moons as seen in the night sky. We're collecting 15 to 20 terabytes of data per night. It creates another challenge which is being able to efficiently process that amount of data every day. And this was made possible thanks to the advancements in data science. That's what this part of the series is going to be about. We're going to understand how to apply machine learning and artificial intelligence to automatically process this type of data. In the next video, we're going to talk about the science being pursued by the LSST and the different research directions that they're expecting to go in. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.